All right, we're going to get a check now on your first alert. Weather, your full forecast. Lauren is here. And yeah. actually, it's not going to be too bad of a weekend. Lots no. of fairs and stuff going on around I the know, state. Oh, I know. And we've got the big E, too, yep. that's starting up this weekend. So, um, yeah, Caitlin, I mean, it's not going to be a bad day today. Okay. We're going to see clouds, uh, some breezy conditions, some blustery conditions at times. But you know what? It could be a whole lot worse All with right. Lee. Just hold on to your hat. Yeah, hold on to your hat. I said that before, right? <laughs> All right, let's take a look, actually, over here, too, on our satellite radar. And we have been tracking, obviously, post-tropical Lee for uh, the past three hours. Here's a look at where it's been. And you can actually see Rhode Island, the Cape, uh, definitely got a lot of rain here in Connecticut. We really have just been seeing cloud cover. Maybe the cusp of uh, eastern Connecticut saw a couple sprinkles. But post-tropical Lee continuing to move north at 25 miles per hour. That wind speed, 80 miles per hour. So impacting areas, once again, of Rhode Island, of the Cape, of Maine right now, too. This is going to continue to move north and eventually northeast and completely out of there pretty soon. So that's the good news. Uh, and it really hasn't impacted us too much. We may see a couple isolated power outages from the wind gusts. So we could be seeing gusts 25 to 35 miles per hour. And then those clouds will eventually thin through the afternoon as Lee continues to push away. We could see some partial sunshine. That's definitely a possibility. Tomorrow is going to be a nicer day of the two days this weekend. That's the winning pick of of the weekend. So here's a look at our future cast as we track, continue to track some of those wind gusts coming in from the northwest. You can see anywhere from 22 miles per hour possibly to maybe up to 30 in some spots of our state. And then this continues through the afternoon into the evening. It's going to be a lot better for tomorrow. Yeah, you could still maybe see a little bit breezy at times once again coming in from the northwest, but nothing like what we're expecting for today. Here's a look at our first alert live radar. You can see we're mostly dry through the state. Yeah, there's that line of rainfall right along the Rhode Island border and uh, really hasn't entered uh, much into Connecticut for today and that's going to continue to push away as we get towards the afternoon hours so eventually that rain uh, will be all gone just a very rainy day on the Cape actually but besides that it's looking pretty good for us here in Connecticut as that moves out of the way and we'll see some clearing skies through the overnight hours then into tomorrow morning tomorrow's going to be great uh, for outdoor activities if you're heading to the Big E or any of those fairs. You can actually see uh, we're looking at a little bit of cloud cover, but a good amount of sunshine for the most part. But the clouds will build into Sunday evening into Monday. That's when we're tracking our next system. So you'll need the umbrella for Monday. It looks like in the morning, and then we've got another shot of rain for the afternoon. So we get a quick little break and then around maybe noon, one, two o'clock, three o'clock. Yeah, you see a lot of greens and yellows on your screen. That means the rain is really coming down. We could even see a couple isolated thunderstorms within this system. We'll continue to keep you posted. New London, 64 degrees. Lots of cars lined up for the ferry. Middletown right now, we're looking overcast out there. Just want to mention, too, there is a chance for some minor flooding along the shoreline as some of those water levels have risen since Lee. Temperatures uh, are in the 50s and the 60s. Today, we're going to get into the mid-70s. Those dew points are very dry, very refreshing. Let's check in on that first alert seven-day forecast. And, yeah, for Monday, we're back down into the low 70s with a good amount of rain likely. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, just focus on that. Circle that part of the seven-day forecast because it looks fantastic after that moves through seasonal temperatures and a good amount of sunshine. Of course, we'll keep you posted here. Caitlin.